Good morning, viewers. Now, when Jesus, Jesus drawn you to Jerusalem, up the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples into the village near to them and said, Go and find a man and he'll have, you'll see a colt tied, a donkey. Now in those days, believe it or not, donkeys were quite an expensive form or means of transport. And to go up to somebody and say, I want to take your, for instance, Rolls Royce or expensive vehicle was a big thing. But the way in which Jesus was going to secure the vehicle was to tell the owner that it was for the teacher and the son. No one had sat in the cold. It was an untamed animal and if they asked why, it was because the Lord had need of it. G'day mate. So as Jesus predicted, some of them, them did ask, why have you loosened the cold? And as predicted, they said the teacher has need of it. the great triumphant entry into Jerusalem where they brought the cult to Christ and they laid their clothes on it, a couple of them would have put some clothes on it, and Jesus got on the cult and began to ride it into Jerusalem. It's called the triumphant entry. Many people were cheering for Christ. Many people were recognizing him, applauding him, laying palm branches down. cried out saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Now palm branches also were an expensive item back in those days and they were something that weren't common. The supply of the palm branches, um, how can I put it, even in the Middle East in those days, trees were becoming scarce, can I put it that way? And when they got the palm branches and um, were laying them down in front of Christ, that was a massive statement because palm branches were of great value.
they weren't in hot supply and so this was a wonderful indication of the like a presidential campaign where they're throwing streamers and they're waving flags and victory's imminent um, he's won the crowds they're following him he's going to win the election as it were this is what it's about and so if we carry on Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord blessed is he who comes in the kingdom of David, etc. They applauded him and exalted him. And he looked around at all these things as he rode the colt toward Jerusalem. And then they went into the evening and I think he could see a fig tree afar off. when they came to it there was only leaves on the tree because it wasn't the season for figs now I think the message here is the fruit will come but it's not here yet um, Christ had come but the Holy Spirit hadn't been given at this point. Now, Jesus said to the tree, Let no one eat fruit from you again. Now this is a very significant statement because the fig tree sometimes represents Israel, the nation of Israel. And whilst there were leaves on the tree of Israel under the Mosaic law, there were certain elements where um, the tree was alive, it couldn't produce fruit under the law. The law wasn't designed to bring life. It wasn't designed to bring fruit. It was an arduous, nasty, horrible bunch of rules and regulations that man wasn't designed to be able to keep. And here I think Jesus typically, typology, typically speaking, was saying the law is going to pass away now. I'm about to be crucified. I think everything's about to change in his ministry. Israel, under the law, will never be able to bear fruit. The law will never produce fruit ever and so Christ cursed the tree and said no one will ever eat fruit from you again in other words we're done just about done with the mosaic law now this is a very strange part of Christ's ministry but he enters into the temple and starts to overturn the tables of the money changers and the things that were going on inside the temple 
now that had gotten so out of hand and it's not no different to today really the amount of money that gets put into these churches that's abused and lost and not used properly is well we'll never know billions absolutely billions Morning. and so here Christ has come in and I wonder how many churches this would happen and it's actually gotten physical um, this is in a way a very soft instance of what God was capable of or what God used to do in the Old Testament rather than annihilate the people however Christ just turned over the tables and what else did he do he wouldn't even allow anyone to carry wares through the temple he wouldn't allow in other words he shut the selling inside the temple down he wouldn't let him sell doves he wouldn't let him sell turtles he upturned the turn the tables can you imagine this for a minute how confronting this must have yeah dr jason morrison theologist again i just want to say thank you for watching the videos and i uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it if you watched it on youtube please share or like um, maybe even comment if you watch it on facebook like comment share um, but most of all get out and live this isn't a rehearsal you've got a one of life don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing till the next video thank you for watching and bye for now